So welcome to wikitechie.com and uh, this is on jQuery Keep press events uh, in 2 minutes This is a video and it's a hands on practical I'll be showing you and uh, it's a 3D animation too And uh, jQuery is one of the very important uh, web technology which is used for doing a lot of validations and also to control in the client side And my name is Venkat, I'm a Microsoft most valuable professional jQuery Keypress event is an event handler uh, since this event varies across browsers. This event fires only the focused element and this can vary across different browsers and here is the syntax. So you need to identify an element, a HTML element here, dot keypress of function. Automatically the keypress function will be happening. Let's move on. You are able to see a HTML here. So HTML with open tag and close tag and inside the head you got your script. This is the basic thing which you have to add it. So this is the URL of jQuery JavaScript file you need to add it in the script tag. In another script tag I am writing the function I got a variable j is equal to 0. Document here is the npa document it's already function I am calling it under that you will be hanging your key press event. So this is the standard one, you have to give this one as a standard and afterwards input, you are able to see the input here. The dot key press of a function, so input, if I am pressing the input, automatically you will be having a span here, in the span put the text value plus a, I am trying to increment it this is the closing bracket for this one and this is the closing bracket for this one let me repeat the javascript code should have a document dot ready this is the first function which you have to use it in all jquery functions all and afterwards I am taking the input key press if I try to press the key automatically the function is enabled and it's trying to change the text of span tag this is how you are trying to write the code for key press event in jQuery let me show you a practical let me show you a practical example here is my jQuery. So here is my jQuery. You are able to see I am trying to type 1, 2, 3. Let me refresh it. It is 0 now. Because the value of j is 0. Now I am trying to type it 8. The key process 1. 9. The key process 2. 0 the key press is 3 this is how based on the key press automatically the number is changing let me show you the sample code now so you'll be having HTML tag with the head tag in the head tag you'll be having the script this is the reference you have to make it in all jQuery program the value of j is 0 now this is the first statement to read or to monitor a HTML page document ready function. Input is one of the element or selector in the HTML key press. So once the input selector is there, if you are doing a key press in input selector, automatically do some processing in this pan tag. So the bracket to close it with the semicolon, script tag is closed, head and you got the body now. So here is the input tag and here is the span tag. This is how the program is. So initialize the variable 1. So this is the one part with the 0 value for j. And afterwards this is here we are using element selector. And here we are trying to give the function, key press function. And here we are trying to change the text of the span tag with the value of j initially 0. I am incrementing j is equal to j plus 1. And the closing tag for both the functions. 
and here is the output once if I press it 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 I'm trying to add another 2 it's 12 this is how the jQuery key press event is working on that's it for regular videos you can uh, watch, send a whatsapp message to our number or you can contact through email apart from that like uh, you can post your questions comments or anything in our youtube channel so if you have any doubts we can help you on this and this is our facebook url website thank you